Dane Francis, I herself. Attachments. January 30th, 2016. A rose's smell can be sunshine to your day, however a touch from its thorns sets a different mood. So just as a rose can bring delight or pain, any and every circumstance have two sides of the coin, whether be it delight or pain. It all depends on the vibrational state one is holding, that of which is dependent on emotional attachments. We may be attached to a belief, material thing, people, the past, all of which circumstance carry emotion. It is noticing which attachments serve emotionally for self from which do not serve. The key to relieve personal suffering is to not treat any emotion as personally yours. It is not pretending a particular feeling don't exist but to accept that a feeling is only just that, a feeling, one of many when fused together in peace and understanding form light. Light is information, one cannot process data correctly without all information at its disposal, thus the term light is truth, for when we move in truth we move in harmony with all. To belong somewhere is peace of high degree, so too it is felt experientially that we are one. As emotions blend forming color, it vibrates within the body giving the vessel zeal to perform thy will consciously in freedom and truth. Freedom is free will, and love is best received when accepted freely, one cannot receive love if one believes that there must have been a reason for such kindness and blessings being bestowed unto them, simply because they associate conditional love with unconditional love, thus the misunderstanding of truth. As the ego rebirths itself into a new understanding of love from conditional to unconditional, it is light to a confused mind within the darkness. In truth, to love unconditional have nothing to do with another's actions, only it has to do with choosing love for yourself. Forgive others, because forgiveness is for everyone, trust others, for you too will want to be trusted in return. By knowing all of that which you feel in a given situation it is easier to walk with love, walk with peace, walk with God, by making only godly thoughts matter in your mind space this is achieved. When walking with God we are walking in harmony with life on all dimensions and planes. In body it is felt and known the oneness of all. In this regard we are naturally connected to everything, so there is no need to cling to anyone anything for it shortens thy vision. When seeing beyond we become not only conscious of the effects of life, we also become conscious of its cause, we become the cause. Consciously we create now with the mind and heart of all in mind and heart, for love unities and fear separates. Fear in man is separation from love and trust in self, separation from God, disconnected from life. God is the all-knowing so know yourself as in know your emotional abilities and you begin to know God, know life. God resides in the unseen, so too is emotion and thought. Within these two other senses we have when used consciously just as how one shall use their fingers as a sense of touch, the self becomes aware of the everything that is around him or her. Doesn't some marine animals have sonar naturally by their design? So too does man have awareness of not only a couple miles but through the very stars and cosmos eternally. Our outer world is a projection of what is going on in our inner world, for in mind nothing is matter except for what we choose to make matter in our everyday thoughts, from the many thoughts we may come into contact with by its focus. When you are conscious of your thoughts, it is also possible to be aware of the vibrations itself at B. Being able to choose which vibration in self best suits your preference also by focus. By simply just being in the present through emotion, what we make matter in the mind it is pulled to us, just as gravity holds things in place, one's vibrational state keeps given reality in physicality experienced. Emotions have manifesting capabilities and thought affects emotion vice versa. In general emotional attachments that don't serve can only bring unpleasant experiences and circumstances. Look within, as to understand your emotions instead of acting on them, you will find that the universe brings forth that of which you feel and think. If you are feeling and thinking unsecure, you will experience insecurity regardless of if you are secure or not. If you are feeling and thinking lack, you shall experience lack regardless of if you have enough or not. What we cling to eternally we attracted. As procreators we affect each other however what we feel and think affects the all. A free mind knows all circumstances are just to be experienced, keeping only the knowledge and lessons gathered about self and then move on. Holding on to anything from beliefs, 
to people, to circumstances, to things that no longer serves can only hinder growth and happiness. Energy that don't serve is heavy within the vessel, it keeps spirits low and depressed sucking joy in all possibilities of a true smile. Let it go, as time passes by timely, know that of which keeps you low and let it go. Let whatever fly free so you too can fly as eagles do. Attachments that cling bring forth illusions of the senses as in separation from God, disconnected from life whereas a sense of being connected brings forth understanding and clarity of where one and all things have its place in and out of time, for when the illusion is lifted this is what you shall find peace and love for all things under and within the sun. The power that have always been within is known, and like never before it seems to some, that they never loved themselves as much as they do in the present moment, for to receive the new self, one must let go of the old. In truth we impose on our own freedoms and peace. Fingers of Dane Francis